Thank you very much. I'm glad something works. Um, when when my, my bio is being called out, I get worried now when people go back and mention 1984. I was only 15 then. Um, but it's, it's great to be here this morning, Commissioner and, and President Willie. Um, uh, what has struck me so far, I suppose, is the consistency of the message that the Commissioner has given and indeed that, that Martin Curley has given now as well. And, and uh, I feel a bit inadequate when I'm listening to people who have, have a lot of uh, science qualifications and, uh, and expertise. Um, but my role here really is to out Outline the interest uh, and indeed the necessity um, that we feel that this event uh, has for Glambia um, and indeed has for the, the dairy industry as we go along. Um, I have a number of slides, too many slides, so I'm going to rush uh, through them, but the purpose is, is not really the depth of those, but to consider the suitability of Ireland uh, and indeed the agenda that Glambia has as, a, as the leading milk processor um, and how this uh, great initiative, and it truly is a great initiative, um, how that fits with the sustainability programme that we have. Uh, and how that important is to, uh, to Glenbia's future and therefore is to the dairy future in Ireland. Um, so I'm just going to, to, to take you through these slides. I'm not sure how they're going to move forward, actually. Um, okay, is it green? I'll take this green. Yeah. Um, so I, I'll skip that. It's just the agenda and the things. So the first thing here is, the, is a comment on Ireland. Um, uh, and there are two very quick things on this slide. First of all, that Ireland has uh, one of the lowest uh, operating on-farm costs in the world. Uh, from a dairy perspective. That makes it one of the best dairy uh, countries in the world and also because of its, its natural uh, uh, advantages, um, it is a great platform for an initiative like this, uh, you know, from an international perspective. Um, secondly, uh, it has the lowest uh, carbon production per litre of milk in Europe which again is a, is a great starting point, a great advantage for us, um, and again, you know, underpins our credentials to, to commence uh, something like this. Um, from a Glanby point of view, then, moving on very quickly, uh, we're the number one Irish uh, dairy uh, processor. We have about 30% of the milk pool here. We export into to more than 60 countries now. Uh, and in the current year, our forecast actually is to process 2 billion litres, um, which is a huge uh, growth even in, in the current year. Uh, and we have invested in the first... Uh, dairy facility, uh, first greenfield dairy facility in 40 years, which in fact is, is one of the largest investments ever made in, in the state. Um, so we are embedded obviously in Ireland uh, and have a, a significant uh, leading position here um, and therefore are very, very pleased to be involved in, in this type of initiative. Um, we have milk supplied by 4,800 farmers. There's about 16,000 uh, uh, milk suppliers in total in Ireland. We collect milk across 21 counties, including uh, Northern Ireland. Um, we have full traceability on farm, but we certainly can embellish that and add a lot more science to it. Uh, we have 105 tankers collecting about 400 loads per day, so that's pretty embedded in, in rural Ireland. Uh, and, and we would count a herd of about 360,000 cows um, that supply us uh, uh, on the basis of an average, an average yield. So uh, a fine herd of cows to be minded on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, our markets, uh, again, uh, focused on clinical nutrition, affordable nutrition, uh, infant nutrition and sports nutrition. And again, the message here is that if we are uh, aiming to uh, satisfy the requirements of, and growing requirements of consumers in these markets, well then we have to be very, very technical and in particular we have to manage uh, the safety of product all the way from farm. Um, and that, that is a critical part of what we do and, and a critical part of our offering to companies that have, uh, you know, a huge consciousness and, and dependency on risk management. Um, we're moving on to, to the, the European and global market context. The, the Commissioner has already mentioned these. I'm not going to labour them, but you can see that, you know, in terms of population growth, strong demand, uh, in terms of increased consumption of dairy proteins, particularly in, the, in Asia, um, middle class growth where they can afford to consume dairy uh, and then you know I suppose one concerning one for me and others is the aging population and the needs that they will have um, and you add to that the requirement for 70% more food by 2050 um, so we are in a, a you know a market here that has huge demands for, for, for growth huge demands for yield improvement and huge demand for increase in technology so I come back then to, to why we might be interested as an organisation in this initiative uh, 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 so intensely. Uh, and our belief is that sustainability is our licence to grow. 
uh, and the Commissioner has referred to New Zealand and a fine bill there of 11.5 billion, we can learn from what New Zealand has done and from maybe some of the mistakes they have made. Um, we cannot grow and, and ignore the impacts that we have on, on the environment and on many other, other aspects which I will talk about. So unless we take a, a holistic pro approach to this, um, we will find ourselves in trouble in a, in a number of years' time. And we have the, the luxury of opening our eyes now as we start on, and embark on that. Um, in context with that, uh, we, have, we have developed ourselves our open source uh, sustainability program, uh, which is, is very, very closely aligned with Origin Green, and we piloted Origin Green you know, as the, the national um, sustainable dairy assurance uh, scheme. Um, so I'm just going to take you through some of this and show you the similarities between uh, what we are doing and what uh, the ICT um, sector can bring uh, to our, our business and the business of our suppliers. So uh, within the open source uh, sustainability program, these are all the items that we uh, uh, examine and manage. These items are the subject of independent auditing on our farms. To date, we have done about 1,200, uh, but we expect to have all our farms audited independently by Borbia uh, by the end of the year. So very quickly, and I'm, I'm going to, to talk about some of these in particular in later slides, animal welfare, carbon emissions, energy efficiency, soil and grass, health, uh, water management, biodiversity, pesticide and fertilizer usage, quality product, traceability, food safety, security of supply, price volatility, production efficiency, producer incomes. Um, that is the holistic model for the development of, of dairy and for the development of, of nutritious food. And unless we uh, manage all the elements, well then we will believe we will, we will be exposed or come on stocks, uh, on stocks somewhere. So we have applied specific resources to managing this on farm. We have a team of five advisors who are working with our farmers every day um, to ensure that these items are being addressed um, and that we can progress. So here you have some, some pictures just to, to, to select some of them. Um, in terms of water quality, uh, we all well know that Ireland is on a derogation on water quality. Uh, we have to improve the quality of our water and we have to, to do that while we expand our industry and our production. Um, it's, it's an example of something which we would say is open to nature today and it takes its course. But that is what, you know, a very, very good example of what big data collection can do for us. Because as we know, and, and also based on some great work that was done uh, by, a, by a technical group under Joe Crockett's uh, tutelage here a number of years ago under the Agri-Food Group, uh, we know that the movement of water, the usage of water, uh, how, and how it tracks to our rivers can be measured really, really well, really, really scientifically. Now, the issue with it is that you have to do that on a once-off you know, and do it by study. Whereas if you have the capability to collect large data and big data, well then it's something that we can manage in a much more continuous, systematic basis and know where the problems are arising and know how we can manage that. So that's a very, very good example of how we can bring a systematic approach to managing it. Um, carbon emissions, the very same thing. Today we probably do it on a, on a kind of a, a, a once-off basis that we measure it and we, we imply or deduce our figures, whereas we can manage this on a continuous basis. Again, technology can bring something to us. Um, air quality fits into the same category. Um, um, Martin Corley already mentioned that. And the next part, I suppose, is, is price volatility, which is the biggest uh, challenge that we have within the dairy industry today. Um, Short-term challenge for us even in the current year. So, again, understanding the factors, and there are many, including weather in particular, um, and understanding those factors and being able to predict and manage those uh, through the use of technologies uh, will certainly help the industry. Um, last two elements uh, is productivity. So, again, here, uh, you know, whether that's based on, on perhaps... Uh, plenty of room for improvement or the, the, the uh, production systems that we have. The difference between ourselves and, and the US is 5,300 uh, kgs per cow in Ireland, 9,500 per cow in the United States. Now, we would not set out to emulate what is being done in the States. I want to be very clear about that, but certainly it shows what the potential is if we can follow that through different, different routes. Um, so that's part of it. Um, and in addition then, we have a picture here, I, I'm not sure if it's muffled on, on the big screen, but that's Paddy Brennan, who lives out the road here, well-known man, played full back for Kilkenny. But he, this, this calf has a plaster of Paris, or a plaster on one leg. Uh, and we were showing this to, to um, a, a foreign customer recently, and we were saying, where else in the world would somebody try to fix a calf's broken leg? In most other countries, they would be shot. Um, so animal welfare... Uh, minding the animals as we grow and as we intensify is a huge issue. Uh, it's a huge social issue, an emotional issue for our customers and for our consumers, apart from doing the right thing. Uh, and in Ireland, we certainly have the right mindset. 
we need to keep it and we need to manage it. Um, so they're just relevant pieces and I'm leaving you with a horrific picture. I don't want to finish on this note, but farm safety is probably the, the biggest issue for us in Ireland at the moment. And personally, my view is that it is a mystery as to how we don't have many, many more. Um, so there is a very significant amount of work that can be done here. Uh, it, and again, the ICT sector can bring a huge amount to us in terms of, of uh, instrumentation and prevention. Um, so that is, I suppose, something that we want to avoid, but something that Landby is very, very conscious of and working with a number of organisations at the moment to avoid. Um, so in, in, to finish on a more positive note, this young lady on the left-hand side, we have to keep her happy. That is, that is very, very important. Uh, and the man in the middle is Billy White from Ballyragget fishing on the Nore. We have to ensure that he can fish and that the quality of the Nore is excellent and that Billy will be happy. Uh, and so long as the two of them are happy, we can build a great industry uh, and we can focus on the, the, the growing markets of the world. Um, and uh, my belief today, and Lambia's belief, and that's why we're here, is that there is a fantastic opportunity from this base and this unit that is being established uh, and we are fully supportive and delighted to be partnering with the great organisations that are in it. Well done to uh, the President Donnelly and well done to Joe Crockett uh, for initiating this over the years. It's great to see things like this coming to, to uh, fruition as a start. So thank you very much. <coughs> Thanks, Jim.